Hey everyone, welcome to episode two of Finding Your Perfect Camper. Still looking for suggestions on the name? Leave comments down below. Thank you to everyone who's submitted entries so far. It's been great. If you would like us to feature you, click the link above, fill out that simple form. No personal information required whatsoever, none. So this week, this is a fun one. We're doing Justin and his family. He has five family members that are gonna be traveling with him in his camper. He has a $50,000 budget, which is a really good budget. He's looking for a travel trailer. He's got a 10,200 pound tow capacity. So we've got a lot of room here. Some of the things he's looking for is he wants bunks, an outside kitchen, and a second entry to the bathroom. Smart guy because he's hitting that outside kitchen to cut down on the foot traffic, and he's got that second door to the bathroom to cut down the, first, uh, the foot traffic. So we've got three campers for him. The first one we're gonna do is right behind me. It's this Puma 28 BHSS. It comes in at 7,475 pounds. So he's got plenty of room on his tow capacity. It's at 36 feet, eight inches. So it's a nice size camper. And we're at 32,965. So we're well below their budget of 50,000. So let's take a look. Back here on the back, we'll just work our way from the back floor. Back here on the back, we do have a ladder. So that's gonna make roof maintenance and cleaning super easy. It's also gonna make it nice to check your awning or anytime you have a ladder, if you have slides, it makes it nice because you can check the tops of the slides before you run those in. Just a nice little feature. You've got your stinky slinky holder, as I like to call it, or you keep your sewer hose in there. Spare tire. You are also back up slash rear observation camera prep. So all you have to do is buy that camera, pop it in there, put your screen in your, in your tow vehicle, you're ready to go. So super nice features there. Outside kitchen, we've got you covered. So we have our gray stone, which is exactly like a black stone. Love these things. You can cook anything you want on these things. We have a sink for the kids to wash their grubby paws before they come in the camper. And we also have a refrigerator that's got plenty of room to keep some drinks and some snacks out here. Again, cutting down on that foot traffic coming in and out of the camper during the day, letting all your AC out. We're gonna go ahead and just jump right in. Uh, no, actually, let's walk up here first, Greg. Change my mind. It does have electric stabilizer jacks, which is nice. Just press the button, stabilizer jacks. We've got storage up here at the front, quite a bit of storage up here at the front. And then if you just wanna take a look at the front cap, uh, Puma has done what most manufacturers have done this year where they've updated their look and feel of their exterior and their interior. It's went really sharp, it looks very nice. All right, so here we are inside. And like I said, Puma, along with most manufacturers, has done a wonderful job of updating their colors in this. You've went a lot lighter, a lot brighter, but they've also balanced it out with some darks you'll see throughout. So immediately to my right, your left is our bunk room. And I'll let Greer go in there and check that out. You've got three bunks. They're all rated at 300 pound uh, capacity. Then your futon or your sofa will actually turn into a bed. So you have a lot of sleeping options back here for your big family. And over to the side, we actually have a spot that's perfect for a TV, video game system, whatever. And it's, as you can see, I could pull this door close or close this door. And it's a nice little private area for the kids. It's also a little escape for mom and dad. So a nice little bunk area. When we come out here into the main living area, we have a huge U-shaped dinette. Plenty of room for a family to sit here and eat. This will also turn into a bed if the kids want to bring guests with them or just want to get away from each other and sleep someplace different. We have our jackknife sofa. This will also turn into a bed. So we're sleeping another couple of people here. You'll see we have some storage up above, directly across from our U-shaped dinette and our sofa, we've got our entertainment system area. So your TV does come on a swivel. You've got your Bluetooth radio down here so you can connect that up to your phone, play your outside speakers, your inside speakers, pretty cool. Fireplace, I absolutely love having a fireplace in my campers. That's an electric only fireplace, so you're not using any propane whatsoever. You could also turn it on and just have the ambiance if you want. Before we go check out the bedroom, we'll look at the kitchen. You've got a nice big pantry to store all the food for your five family members. Gonna be eating a lot of food. We have our stainless steel refrigerator, freezer, 
plenty of space in there. Three burner stainless steel stove and the glass top will actually fold back and will serve as a backsplash back here. So you're not gonna get grease or anything on it. Nice size stainless steel microwave. Then we have our sink area. So we've got storage below the sink, a nice big stainless steel sink with detachable sprayer and some additional storage options up here above. So last but not least, we'll look at the bathroom and the bedroom. The bathroom has that second entry that you were looking for, again, helping cut down on that foot traffic. You've got a nice size neo angled shower here, toilet, which is kind of a must. And then your medicine cabinet has storage and you also have storage below your sink. Very nice size bathroom actually. The bedroom is gonna feature a queen size bed that does have storage underneath the bed. You have storage up above as well as the his and hers closets. And then on both sides, we have really nice size nightstands, actually two layer nightstands. This side has regular charging. That side has USB as well as regular charging. So you got plenty of room for your phones, your iPads, CPAP machines, whatever. And then directly behind Greer, she'll come around. You do have a TV backer in here so you can mount a TV here in the bedroom and have some privacy. You also have the option of adding a second AC unit back here in the bedroom if you want. So you could turn that on, drown the noise of the kids out here if you want to. Let's go check out camper number two. We're at camper number two. And this one happens to be a Puma also. Pumas have a lot of options that fit families, but I've got one more camper after this that's not a Puma. This is the Puma 32 DBTS. It comes in at 9,290 pounds. So we're on the higher side of the tow limit, but we still got about a thousand pounds to play with there. We're at 38 feet, six inches, and we're only at 38,875. So again, we're under that 50K budget. Let's take a look. So up here at the front, we actually have a full pass-through storage here that's accessible from both sides. Solid steps on both entries. We've got the same size awning on the outside that is electric with lights, outside speakers. This is gonna be tight right here, but I think we can show it. If I can get it open, there we go. Get my hat out from underneath there. So as you see, we've got a bigger outside kitchen here. So even more room for drinks and snacks in here, some storage. We also have a microwave still have that sink, still have that Blackstone. On the back, we still have the ladder for the easy roof maintenance. We still have the backup camera slash rear observation prep. Let's go take a look on the inside. All right, so here we are inside. We're gonna start with the main bedroom. Again, we still have that queen size bed. We still have that same storage as in the other unit and we still have the big nightstands with charging. One of the differences in here is we actually have two entries into here with the sliding doors. You do still have a TV backer here, so you can close this off and get some privacy if you'd like. Out here, still have that big U-shaped uh, dinette that is gonna turn into a bed. You do have storage under it. You also had storage under the other one. I forgot to mention that and I apologize. Same style jackknife sofa that's gonna give you that extra sleeping accommodations. Kitchen looks very similar. As you see, you have a lot of storage below as well as above. We still have that stainless steel sink. That's hard to say. We have our stainless steel microwave and our stainless steel three burner stove. Refrigerator, exactly the same. Pantry, you're kind of seeing a central theme here that a lot of the same features. Entertainment area, very similar. So we've got our TV up here that is on a swivel. We have our Bluetooth CD DVD player. We have our electric fireplace. That bathroom that you like with the second entry, comparable to the other side, other camper, we have the neo-angled shower, toilet, sink with storage below, as well as a medicine cabinet. And then last but not least, our bunk area. Now this is one of the areas where you're gonna see a major difference from the other one. Look at the size of this bunk area. I always think of that movie, so, uh, Step Brothers, so much room for activities back here. So we actually have 
three bunks. This one folds up to give you extra playroom and stuff for the kids. And then our sofa will also fold down into a bunk. A lot of storage area back here on both sides and then a bigger area for TV, video games, whatever you want right there. So depending on how much space you need for the kids, you know, this just gives you a little bit more than the other one and you're only adding about a thousand pounds of weight to it. Now I still have one more camper to show you. All right, our last camper and it's not a Puma. No, no. It is the very popular, very sought after Hideout 318BR. So this camper comes in at 9,290 pounds. So we're going down in weight. We're at 35 feet, 11 inches, and we're only at 30,999. One of the reasons that makes this one so popular is that it's a great family camper. It's extremely affordable. And a little trivia for you guys that you didn't know, we were the nation's number one hideout dealer one year ago. They haven't come out with the stats yet this year. Let me take you around and show you what's so cool about this one. So again, still updated body style. Up here at the front, we have that big pass-through storage. We still have the electric stabilizer jacks, a nice big electric awning, LED lights in it, outside speakers, solid steps on your front entry, Check out this kitchen. So you've got that big massive refrigerator about the size of that Puma that we were in just a minute ago. You still have your sink, no microwave in this one. You still have your cooktop stove. And again, more storage out here as well as plug-ins. So you could have a portable ice maker, pretty much anything you wanted out here. On the back, we do not have a ladder on this unit, but that's not a deal breaker. Like you could take a ladder with you. You are backup camera ready. It's a little bit more work, but not a lot. You don't have to run the wires or anything. Just takes a little bit more work on something like this. Again, not that big a deal. Okay, so here we are inside that 318BR. Directly to Greer's right, or your guys' right, is our bedroom. Similar to the one we were just in, we have that queen size bed that has storage underneath it. We've got the his and hers closet, as well as a little place to keep knickknacks or extra blankets or whatnot. You do have smaller nightstands on this side, but that one's kind of cool. Lift that up, Greer. That is actually a laundry chute, so you can hide the dirty laundry. Don't even think about it until you're back from camping. Still have your TV backer here, as well as your doors for privacy. Close that off and get some privacy. Out here in our main living area, right here is where you will mount your TV, so it's your entertainment area. You've got that same Bluetooth radio here, fireplace again. Like I said, fireplace to me is a must. We've shown it in all three campers. We have our jackknife sofa, so that's gonna give you some additional sleeping. We don't have a U-shaped dinette. This time we have a regular booth dinette that will still turn into a bed, easily fit four people there. Our kitchen area is very similar sized with storage up above. Not a stainless steel microwave, black microwave, black stove, three top burner, storage below. One of the features I do want to point out in the hideout that we didn't have in the two Pumas is our central vac system. So you guys don't have to take a broom or a dustpan or a vacuum cleaner or anything. You just drag the hose out, sweep, put the hose up when you're done. And that hose will actually stretch out so you guys can clean your tow vehicle if you'd like. Refrigerator, similar size. Plenty of space in there for several days worth of groceries. You do have some additional storage here before we go into the bunk room, and that is really deep storage. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the bathroom before we go into the bunk room. You have that second entry to the bathroom that we were talking about. If I can get the door open. Oh, cut it. I don't know what comes wrong with it. <laughs> Let's see, sure. so I was standing right here. Wait, are you sure you don't want to try it before? Good luck. I think it's off balance or something. It just doesn't kick. Okay. <laughs> All right, ready? So I want to take you guys to check out the bathroom before we go back into the bunk room. Let's check this out. So as you see, you have that second entry that you guys really wanted. And again, that's great for cutting down that foot traffic. We have our toilet. 
a little cubby to keep your toilet paper or whatnot. Sink with storage below. You do minus the uh, medicine cabinet here. And this one actually has a tub shower combo. I think the tub would be great for kids or pets. I don't know that an adult would work out in there, but I mean, you can try it. And then last but certainly not least is our bunk room. So again, we're sleeping three in the actual bunks. And then this has more like a, a traditional futon style that you can sit there and relax during the day, sleep there at night. So we're sleeping four here. We've got some storage here for the kiddos, as well as some storage below where you would keep your TV. So there you have it. I think we hit your mark on all of these. As you can see, a wide variety of choices and decisions, but it comes down to size of the bunk room, color of the camper, toe weight. I mean, and, and I think there's at least three or four more that we could have showed you. I hope this helped you and your family. Guys, like I said at the beginning of the video, these are so fun for us. Make sure you click that link up above and fill out that form. Again, no personal information required. You just tell us what you want. Stay tuned every Friday for us to release a new video. We're releasing it on our Facebook channel as well as our YouTube channel. And we look forward to seeing you guys next week. Happy camping.